And so this is the state of the kitchen sinks at the moment. I have to get rid of this, all this gunk here. Um, and then I'm going to go into the dishes, which are here. And there are many, many more dishes over there, <laughs> which you can't see. So without further ado, I'll go get the hot water. So last night I was talking to a few people on Skype. Skype is one of the instant message and video call service things on the internet. S-K-Y-P-E dot com. And I was talking to a few people um, last night. And one of the people I was talking to was uh, an XXY. And the other person was uh, um, somebody who's got mosaic. Mo mosaicism uh, of Turner's syndrome and as as they put it normal chromosomes and as I put it don't say the word normal because uh, what is normal you know we should be discontinuing the use of the word normal because there is no normal you know um, and it's really time to have a better system of, of categorization of people and symptoms and things like that. So the water goes in. I have no hot water in my kitchen. Uh, the hot water comes from my bathroom. Now these glasses have been here a while. <laughs> Well, it would be interesting to get my hands wet and warm, actually, to be honest. Maybe a bit too warm. Because I don't like to do the dishes, as you might guess, with the amount of them that are here. I have a lot of dishes in general. People would say I have too many dishes. If you recognise that I have parties a lot, you need to have a lot of dishes for people, you know? Intersex issues are for everybody, even the people who are watching my videos who are not intersexed. Well, you think you're not intersexed. Um, extremely important development in understanding of human beings. Everybody realises that intersex people do exist. And that it's not just male and female. As I've re-uttered and uttered and re-uttered for the last few years, and I'll probably never stop saying it. Um, I hope to never have to continue to say it in, in individual videos. I prefer, I prefer if I could, uh, you know, address the world in a 30 second long little advertisement of human beings on the planet Earth. Um, now, what did I just do there? Stabbed myself with a fork there. <laughs> but uh, it's good that I'm cleaning up these sinks now. Making them more accessible. And this is the point. Intersex people need to make themselves more accessible um, because, um, you know, people just aren't aware that there's differences out there um, and, and they don't quite understand, um, for instance, transsexuals um, feeling that they were born in the wrong body. Now, in my serious opinion, <laughs> which is highly controversial, is that I don't believe the transsexuals were born in the wrong body. I, I think, and I agree with them, that they don't feel completely right to be behaving in the supposed gender role that would be associated with the body look, you know? But that's only based on the fact that there's only male and female in the world, you know? If you actually just immediately put into your mind, mind's mind that there exists more than male and female, then you'll start to probably quickly realise that transsexuals are quite normal to be feeling that way. You know? Uh, they want to fit in, you know? They want to fit in and they're thankful that there's so many transsexuals, especially on YouTube, there's so many transsexual people and transgender people, uh, whatever. Um, and I'm naturally, naturally intergendered because um, because I have XXY chromosomes, you know? Um, because I 
I've, if you want to call it an extra X chromosome in my male XY-ness, even though there are females with XY chromosomes too, so it doesn't really matter about the chromosomes, as I'm realizing now. You know, it's all part, it's all a study, you know? Life is a study. And, you know, as you know yourselves, you're all interested in certain things, I'm interested in certain things, and this is my study. To try and get, well, to, to try and work out, first of all, how we're badly labeling people, you know? Uh, but we're truly badly labeling people, telling them that they're wrong, and that they're an error, and that they're a disorder, um, and that they're uh, an abnormality, um, and it's, you know, that is just not helpful for the brain to be told so Now, doctors won't agree with any of this stuff that I'm talking about because, well, most of them won't, because they believe that drugs are the only way forward. Um, and they generally, not all of them, don't even consider um, the old traditional medicines of, say, China and stuff like that. Um, the most important one of those would be acupuncture. Acupuncture has been ignored for years by Western medicine. Um, it's great to see some doctors, there's one doctor in Ireland, at least there's two doctors in Ireland, that are homeopathic doctors. Um, I know, actually, one of them is not a homeopathic doctor. One of them is a GP, a normal doctor. Uh, but he also uses um, certain techniques from, from other cultures that are proven to be very beneficial for, for the body and mind. And many doctors will not realize that the body is affected by the mind uh, because they can't prove it. <laughs> so you can't prove God either. And look, there's churches built all over the place, do you know? So, like, I think it's time to really get with the program, people. And I th you, don't have to, you don't have to be hippies. You don't have to state that you're hippies because it's got nothing to do with hippies. But I think it's time and now in the 21st century to... To, um, to become more environmentally um, friendly and environment is your own body you know and make sure your own body and mind is, is fine I mean I'm I've been worried about losing my apartment for quite a long time now because I don't have the money you know yet I'm still here and struggling but I'm not really worried anymore <coughs> last week I didn't tell anybody I was going to be kicked out last week, but I managed it again. I fucking managed it again. Um, so I need to really organise an iTunes thing so that I can sell my music. Because I'd like to sell my soup song to everybody for like for one dollar, one euro, something like that. And if three thousand people bought that, I'd be very happy. Uh, I'm sure more than 3,000 would buy it actually. You know, not even just buying it because you like the song, but buying it just to give me one dollar or one euro um, to support me. Um, you know? So that's where I'm going now in my brain. That's what I'd like um, to, to be a bit more um, helped out a little bit more. Uh, with finances because I just I'm crap with money I'm absolutely I'm one of these people who I hate asking for money I hate like for a gig or anything I, I just hate it I just hate the whole transaction of money even though it's so important you know? so you've got it all together there people you're able to go out there and make money or go to the government and say give me money blah blah, blah. I don't have anything like that I don't really want anything like that either um, but I'm definitely going to try and get some PayPal account or something like that and, to, and to make sure that I have at least, you know, money to, uh, to get the essentials in the month, um, which would be food. I put tobacco in there nearly on a, on a level, but obviously that's not essential. Uh, food and... Um, and my rent, essentially. Yeah, the electricity bill needs to be paid too. But I don't use very much electricity and I don't um, heat um, normally with coal. Anyway, this is Waffle. I do want to put all this together. I'm not sure if it will all go together now. So I'll just leave it at that piece, people, and I uh, hope you enjoyed my little rant while I do the dishes. <laughs>
probably do another one. ciao.